at a time like this when confidence seems to be low in the squad and lots of players individually seem to be struggling, how valuable is it to have someone else around the first team who, like you, has a very similar had a similar winning mentality as a player and similar experience of good and bad times at the very top level? Um, well, to be fair, Liam, I think if they're confidence would be shot if they were to read some of the pieces that you write at the minute because um, I read some of them and some of the the confirmation bias that you you always reflect on games with and um, it's like a sort of almost like a social media pundit to, to try and get a reaction in a negative way I read the pieces when we were doing well as well and they, they didn't go both ways so I think for a journalist to be objective um, would be a big start because if players do read it I'd feel like that when there's other managers' names, successors' names being bandied around, that must be difficult. How do you block out that noise? I don't listen to it. But when it's everywhere, it's hard to... No, I don't. Well, I don't. It's only everywhere if you want to go scroll through maybe social media or something. I don't do that. I come and do, I'm not stupid. Do you know what I mean? I know what the pressures that come with managing a top football yeah. club, but I only do my job, so it doesn't, doesn't matter to me.